Now it happened as they went that, that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the word of God. Now here in this particular passage in scripture, we are identified with two characters. One Martha and another one Mary, which is the sisters of Lazarus. Now if we look at the particular character, Martha, she was distracted. Hallelujah. As we look at Mary, she was focused. I'm not here to preach, I am just here to encourage you. Now Martha, if you look at her, she was running around and, 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 and preparing everything, preparing the meals because she has welcomed Jesus into her house, she was putting everything and um, getting everything ready. But as for Mary, she has chosen the, the, the good part. She has chosen the best part. To be at the feet of Jesus. To hear the word of, of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now children of God. 2011. Has been a very busy year for you. Hallelujah. And I found, I found myself. At my particular workplace where I work. Where God is. Uh, actually, it is part of my duties. It is part of my duties when I am at a specific workstation where I work. And it is in the spare of bit area. It is in the desert. It is like almost 16 kilometers from Almanskope into the spare of bit. In a cabin where I got uh, uh, where I got uh, a great security uh, reasons and security official. So as I was there, God began to speak to me and I believe this word is also for somebody in this place. He begins to speak and I found myself there three weeks in a row, three weeks. And the people begin to say, how come you are, why are you just there? Why are you on the duty, on the schedule? It seems like it is your place there. You, you, it, is, it seems like you are the queen of that place. They call me the queen of that place. And I'm just stationed there. I'm there. This, I'm not distracted there. I'm alone there. And, 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 and I found myself there, being there a few days, and I... And the wind is blowing. If you've not tasted it, you must go and taste it there in the, in the desert there. And you have to go out and check the cars and search the, the, the things there. And you have to go out, look at the bottles and put on something on your head and you check it and you must go out there. But I found myself there. I was, you know, doing my business stuff and all those stuff, but God just took me from there and he placed me there. He placed me there. I couldn't understand it at first, but I found myself there. And as I was there, he began to speak about, about, about the distractions that, 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 that has been in my life this past 2012. Hallelujah. And he began to show me and I, I needed to start reflecting on, 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 on specific areas in my life. Hallelujah. And he had to sit and, and just God just had to, to let to put me down and sit me down. You sit down and you listen to me. Hallelujah. You sit down, it is me talking now. I have to do the talking now, you do the listening now. Hallelujah. And you know what the, what the most amazing part of it 
is. The most important part is. Is that God wants wants to meet with you and me in a place of non distraction. Of non distraction. And I kind of found myself there. And it was so amazing because I could shut down and God begin to lay out things that has been distracting things in my marriage, things in my workplace, things in my in my ministry, things in, 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 in my children's life. And it was amazing. And the Spirit of God could, could just start ministering to me and give me wisdom how to go about, how to make this, this thing a success. Hallelujah. Because I want to see my marriage grow. I want to see it succeed. I want my ministry to grow and you know all the other things. And, and for you as you are sitting there, I want to succeed in my work. Place, in my business, hallelujah, but God was, was, was dealing with me, speaking to me and saying, listen, this has been a distraction which hindered you to achieve what I wanted you to achieve in 2011, hallelujah, now child, child of God, you are maybe sitting here, you are maybe sitting here and you wanted to do a lot of things in 2012, hallelujah, you wanted to study, I wanted you to roll in the in the Bible school, I wanted to, I wanted to enroll in, in, in their call, I wanted to do this, I wanted to do, do that, hallelujah, but we find ourselves, things that distracted us, if you look at your creation, your, at your Christianity, hallelujah, it is the it is the bestelstand gekom, Hallelujah. Has your great Christianity come to a standstill? Is there certain distractions that has been distracting you to grow as you're supposed to grow in your Christianity? Hallelujah. Many times there are distractions in the church also. Hallelujah. Which distract the church to grow. Hallelujah. You understand what I mean? Now this is the encouragement that I have for you. 